Hey guys, Jared back. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and show you how to install the Nexus 5 Experience ROM on your Nexus 4. Now, in the description below this video, I'm going to have a link directly to the ROM thread itself. Uh, scroll about uh, near the bottom of the first post of that thread and you'll find the download section with four different options, all of which seem like they're just the kernels, but it's actually not. They're the actual ROMs themselves, um, just with different kernel versions. So I just chose the stock kernel release 2.3 um, and and once you download that, just go ahead and connect your Nexus to your computer and then just drag and drop the ROM file onto your device's internal storage. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and power down your device and we're going to boot into recovery by pressing and holding the volume down and power button simultaneously until we reach this screen and then we're going to use our volume down rocker to go to recovery mode and press the power button to enter into recovery mode. We'll just wait for, uh, for that to to complete here any moment there's team win and there we go so like all of my how to install videos um, I always recommend jumping into your uh, storage first to make sure that the file is in fact there and as you can see it says Nexus 5 experience uh, so that is what we're going to be selecting but first we need to wipe the device so just go ahead and click wipe and everything um, with team win recovery project they do everything automatically for you so it says as you can see wipes data which is factory or basically a factory data reset cache as well as Dell the cache so we're just gonna go ahead and swipe to wipe <laughs> that was funny uh, and then we're gonna jump back into install here we're gonna again locate our Nexus 5 experience ROM now generally speaking most AOSP ROMs or AOSP based ROMs don't come with um, the G apps, you know, Gmail and the Play Store and all that, um, in which case you actually have to flash the G apps package afterwards. Um, luckily for us though, with the Nexus 5 Experience ROM, it actually includes uh, all the G apps that you need. So all you need to do is just flash the ROM itself. So just flash it. Uh, so this will take just a moment, obviously, considering it's the Nexus 4, it's not the Nexus 5, it's going to take a little bit longer than usual, but really it's actually a quite, quite a small ROM. So um, we'll be back as soon as this is done flashing. Alrighty, and it looks like it's done flashing, and yes it is, so at this point all we gotta do is click on Reboot System, and obviously your first boot, uh, like I always say, always takes a little while because everything's compiling in the background, so just have some patience, uh, but it will eventually boot into it and you'll be off to the races. But that's basically it though, folks. Thanks for watching as always. If you found this video useful or helpful, go ahead and click that likes button down below, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future. But that's it for now. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.